guys, welcome. 2023 season. Super stoked about this year, guys. Want to take you through a little presentation. Feel like it's super important to start the year out on the right foot. Make sure that we're on the same page. Understand who we are, what we're all about. When people go, hey, why are you guys call yourself Water Pole U? Why do other people call you Water Pole U? Sure, it's about the wins. Absolutely. Our ability to upset the Goliaths of the world, 100%. But it's also about all this other stuff. Q6 are gonna go first. You guys stay. As soon as they run the drill, new center, center defender gonna jump in. You guys are gonna go. Got it? Okay. Ready? U6. Go. Hey, day one, fall camp 2023. Lots of energy, lots of new things that we're integrating into our sessions. I think the guys are that committed to learning. They're excited about the season and, you know. Hopefully we bring the energy for the rest of the year. We built multiple conferences. The GCC women, UOP built that. GCC men, UOP built that. WCC, how'd that happen? Our president started that. The conference we're in right now doesn't happen if our president doesn't go to the WCC and say, you should start men's water pool. UOP is leading the way in shaping the country when it comes to NCAA water pool. One of the things that when you're trying to do something difficult, when you're trying to do something impossible, is part of the process is struggling. And if you're not struggling, you're not on the right path. So we purposely made a very difficult first training, a very demanding first training. We're putting them in positions where it's gonna test them uh, mentally every single day, along with physically. And we're trying to create situations where we have to deal with adversity. And we could see in that practice that we had to have moments where um, we had to collect ourselves, get the composure, get locked back in, make sure we understood the details. And this is as much what we're training as we are the technical and tactical skills. We have a ways to go, but we're in the struggle and that's where we wanna be. You guys gotta trust the process. I'm not asking you just come in here like sheep and blindly follow me. If that doesn't prove we know what we're doing here, if that doesn't show you, okay, that we have a process that's going to lead to success, you should walk out that door. No hard feelings, walk out that door. But we cannot afford to waste a second from here on out trying to convince anybody that we know what we're doing or that we're going in the right direction. I will tell you, I do not have all the answers. But what I will tell you is what my superpower is, is learning. That's my superpower. Our ability to learn and adapt is second to none. In 2013, we played one way. 2017, we played completely different. 2019, we played different than 17. In 2022, we played different than 19. We've never played the same and we've worked, it's worked every single time. We are gonna find the way for us to win. I need you to trust the process. That doesn't mean it's gonna be easy. It doesn't mean everything's gonna work the first time. That's not what I'm saying. I need you to get in the pool and go all out with whatever we're working on and go 100% in that direction until there's a reason to go in another. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, so this is the UOP way. Commitment to the shared dream means winning this WCC championship for the first time, right? Being able to win this in the inaugural season and be able to get to NCAAs. That's the shared dream this year. That's a huge deal. Just to get you an idea how big a deal that is, Pacific has never won a WCC championship in any sport. We would be the first and we can do this. Remember, as soon as we turn, we give that space. As soon as we are chest to back, we're corralling. When we can test, here, hook, bump, 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 milk the ejection, go. All right, two, one, let's go, work it. Two, one, up. Two, one, contest. In 
case the ball goes low and he tries to go inside the two, I need to be able to fight here and deny a pass. I can't stay here where they go dunk and I'm reaching behind. And I, as the center defender, I'm gonna pick up, slide over, pick up this driver, hand him off, and then I'm gonna jump right back. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna build help defense from all the places. We have to be ready to help from the center and the dropper, and we gotta be ready to help from the deep wings, right? And it's everyone's job to pick up the driver. The best part of fall camp is that we get together twice a day and we're in the same group of guys in the team. And our connection is just building every single day, every single practice. And it's just fun to play with this, this group of guys. But this whole program is about actual water polo. It's about how we all love water polo. Here at UOP, this is a team with all caps on. Like, this is a family. I'm only here for two months, but I already love everyone. I feel the same love towards me. I'm, I just love being here. Well, right when fall camp started, we had just moved into the dorms for the first time. So like, being with the boys 24-7 and like, going to bed, hanging out with them, waking up with them, and just like, hanging out with them all day has been kind of a blast. And like, getting used to college life is really fun. So just like, it's kind of nice being able to be with everyone and like talk about everything that's going on rather than like going home to your parents and like having to kind of just hide in your room. It's kind of nice to just be out and like talkative and stuff, but yeah. Look, I'm really enjoying this group. It's a challenge every day for all of us because there's so much learning each other and understanding what we have to do. But we got a lot of great guys out here, a lot of talent and uh, today was a fantastic practice to be honest. Great energy, good intensity, people were focused, they took feedback really well, we made progress, we adapted. It was, it was a great practice today. The big thing about fall camp is it's high octane. There's a lot of energy, there's a lot of information, we're practicing twice a day. It's a grind, but it's fun because we're all together, we don't have school yet, and so, the progress we're making now is we're moving faster than we're going to move all season because of the, the amount of stuff we're putting in. You know, honestly, from fall camp, it's like these little things. It's this moment where a goalie makes a big save and he kind of yells in a shooter's face. It's, it's, a, it's a, a moment where everyone cheers for a teammate and gets, goes crazy. It was when we were over in the Spano Center doing the Tiger Rally and throwing t-shirts into the crowd and having a good time waiting to get announced. There's all these little moments where we bond and connect and we build together as a team. And those are really the things that kind of stick with you. Um, we know the water pole is going to be there, but it's creating that connection between everybody that's a lot of fun. Best experience? I would have said dessert. Dessert was awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. You know, you just work, you get to work hard in the pool and then you get out and it's a nice, it's a nice treat. Even if you're making it, you know, it's, it's fun making it, it's fun eating it, it's fun eating with the, the team. Um, yeah, we're cracking jokes, it's, just, it's fun after practice, it's just banter and all that, so. So, every night after practice, coach has catered food, so we all get to eat as a team and talk, and um, um, newcomers, our job is to make a dessert for the night and present it, and we get a rating by the coach, and the goal is just to not be last. Like, you don't want to have the worst dessert. The worst dessert is by far Jonah cookies that taste like dirt and a hockey puck. <laughs> hey, no, no, let me get this one. Best dessert, worst dessert. My cookies, not as bad as he says. Like, he's egging it on way too far. I've had many people come up to me and say, like, so good, like, heaven sent cookies. And he's over here haying for no reason. Trap. The worst dessert, Jonas cookies. And the worst dessert is 100% cookies. Jonas cookies. Jonas cookies. Jonas cookies. Jonas cookies. Chocolate chip cookies, absolutely terrible. <laughs> Never want to ever put anything like that uh, in my body ever again. Jonas cookies were the worst. Damn, you guys are Jonah haters. <laughs> yeah. You know, every day, just proud of these guys and their work ethic and they're just learning how to be professional in everything that they're doing. Progress over perfection every single time that these guys come to the team pool, so, cool. yeah man. Anything you want to add? Man, go f*** the tie. Oh, I can't say that. <laughs> Do that one more again? Go Tykes. <laughs>